welcome to Henko Jewel Fur. I'm Jewel Fur. Today we're going to be doing an advanced flame tutorial. You may have seen Henko's previous video about flames. I believe it's entitled Spice Up Your Desktop with an Awesome Background. We're going to make a flame that's slightly more advanced than his. And first of all, we're going to create a new image. I've made the image size really small because I don't want the rendering process to take too long for this tutorial. However, you should usually set your image size to the size of your display. Now, first of all, we're going to select the fill tool and fill the background black. That's the first step done. Now create a new layer. I'm going to call it new layer. You can call it whatever you want. Then select the gradient tool or blend tool and select a gradient that looks good. I suggest not using one with any transparency in it. So I'm going to use abstract 1. You can also use abstract 2 or any, any, anything you want. Now go on filters, render, nature and flame and you can see the flame dialog here. Now we're going to play around with the settings a little bit. I'm going to set the brightness to about 2 because I found that's what works quite nicely. I'm going to change the contrast to about 1.7 because that also works nicely and I'm going to leave the gamma as it is. Change the sample density to around anything above 15 is good if you want a nice flame. I'm going to do 15 for this tutorial. It's just my personal choice. Go on edit and choose a flame that looks good. That one will do. It doesn't really matter what it looks like because we're going to be zooming in anyway. Now zoom in a bit. That looks quite nice. And just change the view to how you like it and click render or click OK actually and it'll start rendering it. OK, that's rendered. The rendering process will take a long time for you. Um, it didn't for me, but that's because I've got a super fast, wonderful computer. Nah, not really. Um, I paused my screen recorder while it rendered and then unpaused it. So it looks as though it went really fast, but it didn't. Right, now we've got the basic flame, but now we're going to apply a couple of effects to it which make it look even better. So select the ellipse tool and draw a circle, uh, put it over any sort of part of your image. I'll do it just there. Then fill that with a colour. I'll do a nice sort of cyan colour. Then press Control, Shift and A and that will deselect the ellipse. This is in a new layer by the way, I forgot to say that. And then Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur and let's change that to about... Not 120, no. To about... 75 should do for this and then set that layer mode to overlay no not overlay how about addition no well experiment with the layer modes until you find one that looks good I think multiply is actually quite good yeah we'll do multiply and if you want that effect to be stronger then just duplicate the layer but I'm only going to have one layer of that then you can repeat that on a couple more areas of the image I'll do one up there and fill that with a sort of purpley colour there you go Control shift a to deselect filters reshow Gaussian blur and OK and then set the layer mode to multiply ooh I don't know if I like that actually That'll do. As another effect that we can do, we can add plasma. So go on filters, render, clouds, plasma. And select a new seed. That one looks quite nice actually. Click OK and you'll see it's completely ruined the image. Nah, not really. Change the mode to overlay and then set the opacity to about 25. Yeah. And you can see it's sort of changed the colours slightly. Look, there's a difference with and without it. You probably actually can't see it on the video, but it's quite visible to me. So that's another effect we can add. Then 
you can also add another effect by clicking new layer and then fill the background with black so let me do that now filters light and shadow and lens flare and create a lens flare and then set that mode to screen or overlay or just about any um, mode layer actually layer mode I think I'll have dodge because it looks quite nice and then move that to somewhere in your image there you go that'll do and you can see you have quite a nice image and then you can obviously add text um, so for this one I'll do Hinko Julfo you can do just about anything with that. I'll upload this um, image to the same post as the video and you can download it and see the results of this tutorial and that's that's it basically I'm Julfo from Henko Julfo hope you enjoyed the video and you learned some stuff and you are more than welcome to post links to any images you create using this tutorial thanks for watching bye bye <laughs>